Hello, welcome back to uh, Fur Park and another quick update. Um, I've been busy installing some fencing along the upper level um, where the suburban station is. Obviously, um, there was no fencing at all here and there was a sheer drop down. Didn't look very realistic, so I bought a bundle of um, second hand fences. Not sure what make they are, um, but um, for a pound I managed to get a whole load of them. They're pretty dilapidated, to be honest, but you know, that, it, it adds a bit of realism. Um, I've super glued them all the way along, right the way, going all the way down. Uh, when those are dry, I shall paint them uh, sort of a brown colour, and then that will be the um, fencing along there, which um, I was meaning to do for quite some time. I just think that makes it look a bit more, you know, plausible. And uh, we've got some uh, rolling stock in the uh, station there. So uh, these are Austrian OBB coaches and they're made by a company called Railtop and they're 1 to 87 scale length. Um, we've got a first second class one there. We've got a second class one there. We've got another second class and then the the coach on the end there is made by Roco, and that is a Rain Model Barn exclusive one. It's quite a, quite an old uh, model now, but um, Rainer is the uh, model shop in Innsbruck, and uh, it's a centre door coach. I think these type of coaches are sort of regional, um, sort of express local. I don't think they're Euro City sort of coaches. They're more regional ones, but they're, they're something a bit different. And I've also made a start on the uh, repair to the retaining wall. Um, I've fixed in place the piece that I cut out so it's slightly inset. I've used a bit of uh, poly filler and I've used some ballast and scatter. It's not finished yet. The area uh, just here needs a bit more work. I've run out of grey paint. Um, what I did do was just use some um, grey paint that I had left, just a, a, the last remaining um, scraps left in the sort of tin if you like and I just put a rough sort of um, load of it on the wall there just to see what you know the effect is how it dries and then I'll know what I need to do to blend it all in uh, but there's some flock green knock uh, scatter stuff there and I've ballasted it as well so it's coming on it's not finished yet but um, yeah I've made a start on that I've added a, uh, a bench there on the platform. Again, I'm not sure what make this is. Maybe a very old. Um, in fact, what, what's that there? Yeah, it is. It's a an old uh, Triang R469. Yeah, made in England. They were the days. But benches like this are generic. They, you know, you can get away with them in um, Europe as well as. Uh, so we'll probably paint that up at some stage, but uh, yeah, I just added that in. There's another view of the um, fences again on the upper level. I think if you're trying to capture a sort of 1980s dilapidated sort of S-Bahn network suburban station, you've got to have clapped out fencing, overgrown, poorly kept track, dilapidated canopies, you know, classic, you know, Cold War era, drab sort of, um, look to it, especially if it's in uh, sort of Germany or somewhere like that. Yeah, I shall paint all of this up along here and just blend it all in and fill in any of the gaps there with a bit of filler, etc. But uh, yeah, it's coming on. Okay, that's it for this video, so just a quick um, update, uh, just to show you a bit more progress, so I'll carry on working on it and uh, report back uh, in the next update. Okay, thanks.